Hey. Hey. Hello there. Hey, Ryan. It's so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What is your name? I assume it's not Mary Jean Cormier. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Derek Munoz. I'm from Samuel Lake First Nation, and I'm a student here at Dennis Franklin from Marty High School. Uh, starstruck, emotional, amazed. So many different emotions. I'm so happy right now. Well, at first I was so nervous. We were meeting a big celebrity, but then eventually more and more went on. He felt like a friend, and like I was, like the world wasn't watching me. It felt like it was just us in that moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greg Chomut, and I'm a teacher here at Dennis Franklin Camardi High School. This is a media class that I teach every year, grade 10 and grade 11. This year, we were fortunate enough to get connected with the CBC. My name is Jolene Banning, and I'm from Fort William First Nation. We go through um, all the ins and outs of storytelling. We talk about the different roles that everyone plays. Uh, we talk about uh, the importance of story and where they come from. And you know, if you're gonna tell a story, like tell a good story, right? They help the students develop their own pitches to whoever they wanted to interview. And, and I think the students really started snowballing off of each other for outrageous ideas of who they might get. And it came to Ryan Reynolds. And what was your favorite question that you were able to ask him? Should not be the most appropriate, but why are you so sexy? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> well, um, gosh, I, I, there's, there's no way to answer that and not sound like a complete ninny. <laughs> uh, I'm Cedar Fiddler, and I'm from Sandy Lake. It was a lot of work, but also fun in the pro progress. Um, our process. <laughs> hearing Ryan Reynolds and seeing him on on the TV and hearing Derek um, talking to him, I was uh, proud of him and he looked so happy. While you were in those communities, have you ever tried any First Nation traditional foods? I don't remember if I have. Oh no. I, don't, I might have, I'm not sure. I, I, I can't, off the top of my head, I can't, I can't remember. I don't know. I'm uh, I'm I'm always down for pretty much you know trying anything from a culinary perspective. Uh, so I would imagine I have. I just can't remember at this point. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. Scared. Well, hopefully you had some good some. Uh, I'd recommend a couple of good ones like bannock and fry bread. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever get a chance, I would totally recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> done and done. Done and done. My name is Jada McKay, and I'm from Wapakika First Nations. Um, I thought it was pretty cool, and like. It didn't seem like he was some sort of like famous person, just like someone regular talking to. I liked when he talked about like how he'd support First Nations people and how he does it. Yeah. Regardless of where we're from, I believe everyone deserves clean drinking water that we should get. Yeah, I also I also believe in you know um, you know equity, and I think that there's there's you know communities like yeah. particularly indigenous communities that that aren't that don't have something as as basic uh, a human right as as clean drinking water is um it's kind of you know it's it's inconceivable to me so i think it was important for me you know letting these students know that we really believe in them that we we really support their dreams and that we really want them to succeed and be cheerleaders for them the whole way he looks so so interested in our questions and he loved learning about our culture and he loved talking to us. Thank you very much Ryan, that was all of our questions and I really appreciate that you took the time to to, to get interviewed by some kids from up oh northern Ontario. Bye guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it.